Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool, and this is the Top Don TC005 Thermal Imager. It's very similar in form to other brands that are available, and this one has a blue, blue with black overmolding, blue trigger, and it has all black buttons and its own instruction manual. This is a uh, indispensable tool these days. There are others. Um, there are a lot of ones like this, this flare that fit onto a, an existing camera. I got one of these when they first came out. That's this one. I finally got it back. I had loaned it out and <laughs> the neighbor lost it. But anyway, this guy, uh, it, it was really neat in its time. And I had special software from another company that ran it. But the battery life was was atrocious. Uh, this is the Klein. Um, it's actually a, a nice simple unit, a little less featured than, than the uh, Top Don, um, but the refresh rate is really slow. So we'll be talking about that. You can see I'm, I'm wiggling my fingers, but that's how it looks on here. And then it locks up often. It'll um, just kind of freeze and then you won't see anything or it'll just stick, uh, which is kind of interesting. Hey, look at that. Anyway, um, but it's uh, it was a good one in its day. There are much better ones, I think, including this Top Don. Now, these are great for picking up um, changes in temperature that might not be healthy, such as wheel bearings on trailers. Uh, I just point this at it or the axles, and you can tell if, if there's a, um, excessive friction somewhere um, or any HVAC stuff, both hot and cold. You can use it to measure actually heat output if you're doing testing on AC units or uh, or furnaces, things like that. Um, and they uh, are just a hoot to play with. So um, rather than going through all the features, I want to point out a couple of things. I can take video. I can take still images. It's got two temperature ranges, so I can go from like minus four to, um, I don't know, over a thousand degrees. Uh, and I can set it to present the colors differently. Remember, these are false colors. That's not actually how things look because infrared isn't a color, at least a color we can see. So the computer is actually creating a false color palette, and we can then, of course, customize what kind of palette best represents what we want to see. Um, also, uh, with this, there is a secondary camera this is the TC005. There's also a, another version that doesn't have a secondary camera, and that secondary camera allows visible light, so you can both see uh, maybe the visible spectrum, you know, what it would look like looking through a traditional camera, as well as what it looks like uh, thermally at the same time. Um, you can actually get picture in a picture, um, and of course you can set um, set it up for the specific environment, distance, things like that that you want. But where these are fun is when you can really see them in action. So what let's do to test this thing out is let's head to Yellowstone Park, a place known for wild swings in temperature. So come on, let's go. So here we are in Yellowstone National Park, and that's Old Faithful. There's the Top Don Thermal Imager. And when you point it at Old Faithful, you see wild things like this. I mean, it's like some crazy sentient being dancing as it comes out from the depths of the earth. Or perhaps it's one of those stupid nylon sky dancers you see out in front of the car wash. Either way, it's pretty wild. Adding some data, you can see that uh, we have some numbers. Now notice that minus 12. If you point the, the top down up at the sky, it actually re registers you know, minus 30, minus 40. That's how cold it is up there. This is another view showing the scale. Um, obviously, the steam cools rapidly as Old Faithful erupts. One interesting thing, though, is I pointed the, the thermal imager down onto the boardwalk, and you could actually see the different planks underneath um, that had either absorbed heat, you know, the main ones, they were a different material. This is using the top done on one of the hot pools. What's interesting, we've got 176 degrees there. Uh, if it's boiling, it's higher. We did get over 200 in a few places, um, but it also gives it a beautiful look. Here's another that shows a cold spot in the center. Something's going on. Um, just Yellowstone is a whole different place when you're looking in the thermal range, the infrared thermal range. Anyway, there it is in Yellowstone Park, and with that, dock out.